So today I'm going to be getting a perm and I'm going to be showing you guys everything, the entire perm process and what it looks like to transform my hair from this to a bit more curly. Also make sure to stick around to the very end because I usually don't like how my hair looks right after the perm. So I'm going to be showing you guys the final, final product three days later when I'm allowed to shower. I'm at the point where it's been about three, four-ish months since I got a perm and the straight hair strands are growing back in and my hair isn't as voluminous as before. I definitely am going to be needing a change and I'm also going to be needing a haircut because there's hair like over my eyes and it's like always like flopping everywhere. So I'm kind of late right now. Let's go ahead and get inside. Yeah, you see, this is kind of towards, I guess, like the end of the perm, but yeah, the sides to be a little bit longer. Kind of like, as long as this, it still looks a little more natural, not shaved up. Longer. This was a very natural way. Yeah. So like side burn is, you know, not too short. Just mm -hmm. clean up. Yeah, just a little so clean up. Clean up, soft layer. Mm -hmm. And then like this, very short. Yeah. Okay, it's a way for mm -hmm. effect too. Uh, back, back, I guess. Not too short. Like yeah, not too short. Back. Yeah, similar, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> What's up guys? We're in the toughest part right now. The perm solution is in my hair um, and obviously you can see the curls and stuff. I'm under the heater right now. At this point, my head is basically on fire and stuff is burning. In the other clips, they wash my hair and then they put like soap in it, got me all clean. And then I was talking to the stylist, Julie, how I want to have my hair. And I said to put in medium curls. So now I opted for something like kind of in the middle. And I said to keep the sides like a little bit longer to keep it more natural for the haircut. They gave me a two block haircut with longer sides than usual. If you guys want to have like the same haircut or perm process as me, just show them pictures on my Instagram or like my TikTok videos and stuff like that because that's the easiest way instead of describing it. Then after that, they started putting the curls in with the perm solution at the same time. And then they put the white thing to keep the solution from hitting like my forehead and then the plastic wrap just to protect my head from the heater. If you want my hairstyle to show your stylist slash barber the curl pattern that they put it in in my hair, it's going like towards the sides and then the middle part is going back. This has been about like three or four months since I got my last perm. There's some places that say you can put soap in your hair one to two days after. And there's other places online that says it takes three days. Don't do anything to your hair. So I just really try to keep it safe, which means no water, no soap, no anything, no touching my hair, no scratching it, no putting headphones on and stuff. So it's kind of tough, but at the end of the day, I feel like it ends up being worth it. Even though if I'm playing it a little bit too safe, might as well get your money's worth. So I'm gonna be under this heater for about 30 minutes. The entire process takes more like two hours for a Korean perm. We're kind of towards like the tail end of it. It's just waiting out this heater to keep on burning my head and then letting my hair cool down. And as I'm talking to you, my head's actually on fire like my scalp. oolong milk tea and can I have it less sweetness no ice we just got some boba right after the perm thankfully they gave us a lot of boba oh wow that's good that's really good so this is what my hair looks like right now it's not really what I would want it to look like and usually I get my perm on Friday and just stay inside the entire weekend and then come back to school on Monday with my hair all washed so it looks a bit more normal and stylized the way I want it to look like this is me right after the perm and it's curly to how I like it but not curly enough to where I'd want to go out to a function or a party and stuff but if you guys want to see how my hair usually looks like all right so this is the final product and my hair is a little bit shorter than how I would like it to be but it's okay because this is how it always is it'll eventually grow out to being longer and look a little bit more natural the look right now isn't bad i just really like the middle part look but this is good because it'll allow my hair to grow out and i won't have to get too many haircuts between now and my next perm i almost always don't like my perm right when i first get it out of the salon so if you feel that way it's normal just let it sit for a while make sure the perm solution sets in and then you can style it the way you want it with the products that i talked about in my other videos if you guys want to learn more about perms i have a couple videos on them that you guys can check out if you want to see if you 
should get a perm, products you need for a perm, your hair length, the pictures that I use, I tell my stylist. Make sure to check out those videos. So if you guys want to stick around and see how my hair grows out, or if you like the video, make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.